Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Welcome one more time to DeFi Daily. First of all, guys, I want to start by thanking you for all the support in the last two videos. They have been performing extremely well. Thank you very much for your comments, for your likes. To those of you who haven't yet subscribed to the channel, just make sure that you click the subscribe button. Please make sure that if you like the video, hit the like button and leave your comments and questions and I will take the time to answer. Today we're going to be covering Hector Dao. So Hector Dao, it's another of the Olympus Dao forks, in this case also in the Phantom ecosystem like Spartacus. Why did I decide to do a video around Hector Dao? Well, it's very, very easy because I really like their 4-4 strategy and option and I think it makes it very different to some of the other Olympus Dao forks that we've seen in the different ecosystems. I also like their user interface. You can actually play with this earth ball, which I think looks very cool. So I think the website is very solid. I really like the design. Market cap is already above 100 million. So that's pretty nice. Let's really look at their Hector token. Really quickly look at the price of the Hector token. Uh, we can see here it's trading at 216, dollars which is all right. It actually hit the 350 dollars a couple days ago now what i like about the current price is that we are actually in a very interesting support so you can see it acted as a resistance on the 15th of november then it bounced here then it was resistance again it was a resistance again here support over here it broke but then it acted here as a resistance so i think we are at a very interesting price point uh, we will need to see how it continues behaving but if it's able to to hold and bounce, it might be a good moment to enter. But again, guys, remember everything on this video, it's only for entertainment purpose. This is not financial advice. You should make your own research before deciding to invest or not on any of these projects. There is always a risk. The crypto world is very, very risky. There is the risk of a hack. There is the risk of a rock pull. So make sure that you invest money that you can afford losing because there is always a risk. So if you want to enter into the app, you will click on the dashboard button and it's gonna open this website. So this is the Hector DAO platform. You need to be connected to the Phantom ecosystem. In a couple of minutes, I'm gonna show you how to connect to the Phantom network in case you don't have your wallet, your MetaMask wallet already connected to the Phantom ecosystem. It's very easy. Let's take a quick look at the Hector dashboard. It's very similar to what we saw in Spartacus and in Wonderland. We can see the TVL, which is about $90 million right now. Market cap, like we said, above 100 million. Hector price, yeah, it's around 215, 216. It's moving uh, on those price levels. Options in Hector, same as in Wonderland, same as in uh, Spartacus. We have the option to stake and we have the option to bond, or in Wonderland, it's called mint. So let's look at the stake option, very easy. Right now, we're talking about an APY of half a million, so 517,000, which is I think a great, great APY. The total value deposit, like we said, right now on stake, it's 90 million, which is also uh, quite a decent amount. Let's look at bonding. Now, uh, for those of you who don't really understand the concept of bonding or minting, I recommend you to check my latest video about Wonderland, because in that video, I take more time to explain the concept of bonding and minting these DAO tokens. But just to summarize, basically what you're doing is you're giving your tokens you are bonding these tokens in exchange of the Hector token in this case, or time in Wonderland or SPA in Spartacus. You can use the term bond or you can use the term mint, uh, whatever you, you prefer. But uh, yeah, in Hector now we're saying bonding. So what does it mean to bond? Basically what it means to bond is that we're gonna be giving this token and we're gonna be receiving Hector token at a discounted price. So what is the discounted price? This is the discount we are getting. So if you use, for example, HEC die, you're gonna be getting 14% ROI, so 14% discount. If you, if you use die or MIM, you're getting 13 and 9%. So you can look at here, if you click on the bond button, you can see that the current market price is 215 and you would be bonding it for 190. So that's $25 discount on the current price, which actually is that 13%. What is the tricky thing about bonding or minting? The tricky thing is that you have a vesting term. What does a vesting term mean? It means that it will take you five days until you receive the EC token in your MetaMask wallet. And what is the problem of not having the EC token in your MetaMask wallet is that you cannot stake it. So you're not gonna be earning the staking benefits, but you're actually earning this 13% in five days. You're gonna ask yourself, should I bond or should I 
stake. Well, basically the key difference is over here. Let's say you will use USDC to bond EK. Basically you're earning in five days, 13%. That's how you need to read it. Now, if we stake, we can see that the ROI in five days is 12%. So in this case, it's better for us to actually bond because we're gonna be getting a better ROI. Now, I've explained you the single stake. That's what we're calling here the 3-3. Three, three. But what is 4-4? Four, four? And here's where the interesting element of Hector comes to play. I really love this. I really, really like it. And 4-4, four, four, it's actually a strategy in which we're gonna be bonding tokens that are already staked. Yes, this means that we're gonna bond our meme or our die for staked Ek. These tokens are already staked, they are already generating and paying us a yield, but we are actually bonding them at a discount price. And the discount price is the one you can see over here, 3% for meme, 2.72 for DAI, and so on. And as you can see, it says four days because they have a vesting period of four days. Main advantage, since day one, we are earning the yield from the stake token. The only disadvantage, the four days of vesting term, that we will need to wait in case, for example, we want to sell the staked heck. So instead of buying it for 214, we are buying it for 208 or 209. You're making there a $5 profit if you buy one heck, which is already very good. But what it's even more amazing is that you're gonna be getting the staked heck. So this token is already gonna start earning a benefit for you. So it's already gonna be staked and it's already gonna be giving you a benefit. And the vesting period is going to be four days. So it's going to take you four days until you can actually do something with that staked asset. Now, what can you do? You don't need to stake it again, right? It's already generating some profit and growing with the auto compound strategy that Hector Dao and Sparta and uh, Wonderland have on their stake token. So that works exactly the same. And it's going to be earning that uh, 515,000 right now APY. So pretty cool, huh? I mean, this is basically, you know, a new functionality. Um, people uh, taking the Olympus DAO uh, fork and reinventing, improving, uh, trying out new things, and I love it. I think this is just amazing for the DeFi ecosystem. It helps us yield farmers and people in this ecosystem to actually maximize our profits. There is always a risk. You guys should, you know, think about your strategy and then take a decision whether you want to do one thing or the other. Invest, don't invest. That's your own decision. Now. How I see these guys? Well, in my opinion or in my personal strategy, when I see that, you know, meme 44 or die 44 are paying something above, you know, 1.5, 2%, I personally take the decision of going with this option. So if the single stake option is actually paying me a higher ROI or a way higher ROI than the bonding uh, option, I would actually buy the tokens directly and then stake them. So you need to check the market, check the ROIs, compare and take the best decision but definitely definitely this 4-4 option whenever it's above 1.5 or 2 percent in my opinion and this is my personal decision i go for it okay so i'm gonna do a quick hopefully five minutes tutorial for those of you who are new for those of you who don't have your phantom network configured in your metamask and i'm gonna show you very very easy how you can actually do it so I'm going to leave the links to all of these websites and while everything loads if you're liking this video make sure that you subscribe to the channel make sure that you leave a like that you leave a comment i will take time to answer all your questions and solve for all your doubts so for those of you who don't have the the phantom network connected or uh, configured in your metamask wallet i will leave the link to spirit swap finance on the description of the video and it's very easy you just access the website you open your MetaMask wallet and automatically the system will give you the option to connect to the Phantom network automatically. It will tell you allow this site to add the network. So it will say Phantom Opera, RPC, FTM dot tools, chain ID 250, you approve. Then you click switch network again and automatically you're going to have your wallet already connected to the Phantom network. So this is just a quick tip for those of you who are new so that you can connect to the wallet in the phantom network very very easy and in order to buy heck and to interact in the protocol we're definitely going to need some gas fees so i'm going to give you a very very detailed guide and i'm going to leave the link in the description of the video as well on how you can 
transfer your funds from your Binance Smart Chain to your MetaMask wallet and into your into the Phantom Opera network. And I'm gonna also leave you here a very interesting tip on how you can get some Phantom tokens for fees for free. So how do you do that, guys? You actually access to the Discord of the Hector platform. You're gonna access their Discord channel. And it's super easy. Over here, you have an option that is called uh, FTM faucet claim. You need to type in exclamation faucet, and then it's gonna be in progress. Once you get this message, the reply, you click on FTM withdraw. And as you can see here, it says, good morning, Hector and Solden. To withdraw, please use the correct command, exclamation withdraw, and then your address. So you basically need to type here, exclamation withdraw, and then you will copy paste your phantom address wallet. So for example, you could take one of mine. So let's make it over here. You would just copy it from here, from the clipboard, and then you would just paste it and send the message to receive the tokens. And then you're gonna get a confirmation of the transaction hash details, and you're gonna get your phantom for free on your wallet. So hope that was helpful, guys. I'm gonna leave the link to this guide for every one of you who are new on using phantom ecosystem and once you have gas fees the next step is going to be to send funds to your wallet so that you can actually buy the heck token how you can do it you can do it with any swap it's very easy guys you select the origin network so for example if you have already uh, dollars uh, usdc's or any token in your by in the binance change in metamask you can send them from binance to phantom and, and you can select usdc or you could also send DAI, for example. So you choose the token that you want to send from one to the other. Uh, you could also send from Ethereum in case you have funds on Ethereum, or you could select Matic Network. So with that, guys, you're going to have funds in your MetaMask wallet. And like we said, the next step would be to get the HEC token so that we can actually stake it. Now, we said it very clear. There's two options. You can either bond it, and in the bond option, you have the option to bond the HEC token in the normal way, like we've been doing it in other projects where you have to wait for five days on the vesting period and then you have to manually stake it or you have the 404 option in which you buy the token already staked. The vesting period is only four days and you're earning benefits since day one. Those are the two options. And the other option is to actually buy HEC directly. In case you do the math and you think that you need to buy the token first in order to stake it directly and avoid the vesting period, okay, then you would click buy on spooky swap or buy on spirit swap in my case let's use buy on spirit swap in spirit swap you're gonna have already selected the token heck so in this case we want to buy heck you can buy it using phantom for example if you already have phantom or you could use let's say die in order to buy it so we could use die and we would click on max and then you would just confirm the transaction to get heck in your wallet once you have those heck you would actually come here to the stake option. You need to approve the stake option. You are going to confirm the transaction in MetaMask. And once the transaction is approved, you're going to have the stake hack option. You would click on the max button to stake all your hack, or you would select the quantity. You would click on stake hack, and then you would confirm the transaction on MetaMask. Right now, I don't have hack on my wallet, so I'm not going to be able to do it. And for those of you who have been asking me in the other videos, how do I go the other way? back right so how do i unstake well it's very easy here you have the unstake option so right now of course i cannot do it uh but you will have to approve the transaction and then confirm unstake and then you can actually sell the tokens and take profit so it's very easy guys now the other option instead of buying the hack token using spirit swap you can actually bond it and how do you bond it over here in the menu like we said an example would be to do it with DAI. Uh, the ROI in five days is 11%. You would click on bond. The same, guys. You would need to approve the transaction. And once the transaction is confirmed, you're going to be able to buy the HEC token at a discounted price. As you can see here, $21 discount using your DAI. You would select the amount that you want to use. You would click max. In my case, for example, I could use 99 DAI. You would click the bond button and then you will confirm the transaction. In this case, this is the bond 1 1. So this is the normal option. Five days of vesting period. We are going to be buying heck. And then after the five days are finalized, we would click on the redeem option and then we would click on claim or claim an auto stake. I recommend that you guys click on the claim and auto stake so that those heck tokens that we are actually claiming we can auto stake them automatically and avoid spending gas fees. And then those heck are gonna be generating yield. 
and the other option is the bond for four so in this case for example i would be using probably the meme option right now it's 1.25 you can see guys that the rates change a lot before it was 2.25 so just be aware look now it changed again 1.31 so try to do it when the roi is the highest and then you would click on bond in this case you know we're earning this three dollars which is not bad at all it's a, a 1.3 percent already discount price in which we are buying stake heck and like i mentioned before these heck are already staked so they are already providing that half a million apy that we were talking about from the stake functionality so it's very easy you would approve and then remember you're not going to get the stake heck automatically you're going to have to wait four days on that vesting term and then you're going to be able to redeem it and as you can see here you can only claim it because they are already staked so you're only going to claim them then you can hold them on your wallet they will continue auto compounding all the magic all the fun part all the happy things generating benefit generating yield and then you're going to be able to whenever you want unstake them and then you're going to be getting the normal version of heck and then you can actually sell it and do whatever you want with it earn profits and all the cool things so you might ask why Hector why did he present this project well first of all the 4-4 functionality I really like it innovation cool stuff then another thing that I also like well if you can see here on the left corner they have the lend and the borrowing functionality is coming soon this is always positive whenever a project becomes a money market this means that more liquidity will enter the project maybe we can see an option in which we can actually take or borrow money using our heck as a collateral i don't know even maybe the stake heck you don't know i mean what these guys are going to invent but this could be actually a very interesting thing for the project and this could be great news for the price of heck in the future so we will see we will see what the team comes with but so far i think at least the four four functionality is something that i believe it's super super interesting and to finalize the project i wanted to go to the roadmap it's linked to what i was saying before why i like it well so far they have been delivering on their promises so they did the launch of the dao uh, they gave the option of uh, wftm and usdc bonds which are already live they have the option of four four bonds deployed it's already there november 2021 on time the dashboard was updated more graphics better user interface looks amazing um they're on the KYC audits to further build public trust. This is, as you can see, the roadmap to 2 billion. So the project is very, very, very ambitious. And as you can see here, Q4 2021, there's going to be a rebranding of Hector. We'll see. I don't know what's going what's gonna to happen with the rebranding, but sounds cool. This is what I like so much. Hector Bank Lending and Borrowing Protocol, Money Market, Liquidity. This usually is good for projects if they are able to do it in a good way. This might be extremely positive, more audits, more security. That's always good. Partnerships, always amazing for any project. Dual incentivized liquidity pools. I don't know exactly how that's going to play out, but it seems also interesting. Additional bond offering. So the more options, the more tokens that they accept for bonding and minting, that's the best because what it means is that they're going to accept more tokens to be part of the treasury of the Hector DAO. And that's at the end what these projects are looking for uh so looks looks interesting guys a lot of a lot of things coming forward nft drop this could be also interesting uh, i'll leave the links to the project i'll leave the links to all the resources that i presented on the video of today and with this we've reached the end of the project once again thank you very very much for taking your time to watch the video until the end if you liked it make sure make sure you hit the like button make sure that you subscribe if you haven't done so far Make sure that you leave your comments. I will take time to answer any question that you have. And once again, thank you very much for watching the video until the end, like I said, and I'll see you on the next DeFi Daily episode. Bye-bye.